Hey everybody, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I'm gonna wait just a couple moments to see who hops on. Um, tonight we are gonna be talking about hypothyroidism and knowing your medication options. A lot of times doctors um, just go one direction and people think that's the only way that you could go for your medication options, but there are other options out there. My hope and my desire is that you actually um, become informed by this uh, video and my blog at carolwardfitness.com, but that you also um, use it to have an intelligent conversation with your doctor about the options. Certainly don't let this replace any need for you to see your doctor or seek medical attention. Um, also don't allow this to replace any um, any need for you to go out and do your own homework, your own research on the options that are available to you out on the market. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna talk about hypothyroidism medications. And as I mentioned from the start, really what happens is, is that doctors tend to just simply start off with Synthroid or Levoxathyroid, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it wrong, Levo, thyroxine and levothyroxine actually the thyroxine is a key ingredient in both synthroid and levothyroxine it is a synthetic hormone and it is uh, as you might know if you've heard of it before synthroid is one of the most prescribed medications not just for thyroid disease but it's the most prescribed in the market so um your doctor probably, if you're diagnosed with hypo, hypothyroidism, will most likely put you on that medication first. Um, and what it does, just so you know, I'm gonna give you a quick overview because I don't want the video to go too long. What it does is it's actually gonna take your T4 and convert it to T3. Now what is important about your T4 and your T3? You're in your thyroid hormone, I think I mentioned in the last video, is that you would not only want to have your doctor test your, your thyroid stimulating hormone, your TSH, but also test your T3 and T4, because everyone operates better at a different level of T3 and T4 hormone in their bodies. And the T4, what it works on is your organs and your tissue. And the T3, what it works on is your metabolism. So. What my experience was is my doctor had me on Lavoxyl for a long time, and then my new doctor, um, about 10 years ago, I started seeing the doctor I'm seeing now, she immediately put me on Synthroid. And I remember even on the Lavoxyl, not feeling my best, not feeling myself, not feeling energetic, not sleeping well, not having a lot of, um, uh, just I just didn't feel like myself. And, um, and I just realized I was sluggish. It just, like I said, it didn't have any energy. And so I started doing some research and I found something out about Armour Thyroid. Now what Armour Thyroid is, is it is a all natural thyroid. It comes from porcine, from pig thyroid. And what it is, is it's a dried formula um, and it's compounded. So I think um, in the past, it used to be one of the most prescribed medications for thyroid disease, but at some point it became, uh, re was replaced by Synthroid. And actually there was a time in the market where it was, it went off, um, it wasn't even produced anymore. In fact, when I started on it, they start manufacturing it. Um, and I think that the reason doctors don't prescribe it so heavily anymore is they feel like it, um, it's maybe lost its, it's lost its, what's the word I want to say? Instead of it being in its natural formula, it's been compounded and it's been um, affected, I guess, by, um, by the processing of it to where it might not be as effective. So they feel like it's lost its effectiveness in the marketplace. So most doctors don't tend to prescribe it anymore. My experience with it, even back in the day, is that I, as soon as I got on it, I could feel Im immediately I felt better. Um, I felt like I had more energy. I felt more rested. I felt, I just felt better all the way around. Um, what it does is it actually has T4 and T3 in it together. So remember when I said Synthroid just has T4 and it converts it to T3. Well, our bodies need both T3 and T4 to function well. And we, we might do better um, at certain levels of T3 and T4. You will know that as you know your numbers and you become more familiar with where you feel you're best at along your journey. And you'll have those conversations with your doctor. Um, so, so I think the thing to keep in mind is that 
as you're having those conversations with your doctor and you're talking about options, like I said, most doctors are not even gonna consider prescribing um, the Porcelain um, thyroid, the Armour thyroid, or any kind of formula along that line. They're going to encourage you on the synthetic. And, and that might just be because of the fact that it's a pharmaceutical drug, they might be getting kickbacks, I'm not real sure what the deal is. But, um, but I would encourage you to do your research and take that information with you to your doctor. And if you feel like you need to be on the, the, the more natural thyroid hormone, the armor thyroid hormone, then make sure you find a doctor who's willing to prescribe it. I'm fortunate because I see a doctor um, that I was blessed to have the opportunity to meet with about 10 years ago who actually had thyroid disease as well. I actually traveled 45 minutes to see her so that um, because I know that she knows my journey. She's also gone through menopause, which is what I'm going through these days. And she, she's tried different thyroid medications along the way. And she also likes to try a more holistic approach. She knows a little bit about um, nutrition and how it affects your, your thyroid and also how our adrenal glands and adrenal fatigue can affect, affect your thyroid. So those are some things we'll be talking about as we go further in the series. But I just kind of want to give you a baseline of information to really talk with your doctor about and um, to just have an open conversation with. Another thing I want to make sure that you know, a lot of times doctors are going to ask you, what about the Armour Thyroid have you learned and why is it you want to take it? Um, like I said, for me, I just realized the T3 and the T4 together work better for my body. Some doctors think that people want to take it because they just want to lose weight quicker. And, um, and that's thyroid-related weight gain um, or hypothyroid-related uh, weight gain. I think the thing to keep in mind with that is that really nutrition is going to be your best friend. And um, no amount of pills is going to make you lose weight quick enough because it can also, um, if you have too much thyroid medication in your body, no matter what kind you take, it can actually cause you to have heart problems. So I, I want to make sure to make that very clear. Um, so that's why you need to be under the care of a doctor and you really need to do your research and know your numbers and know what works best for you and have open conversations with your doctor. A lot of time what happens is, is that people just go to their doctor and accept whatever the doctor says and says, okay, well my thyroid's under a 5.0, it's normal, everything's good and they go on their merry way feeling depressed, emotional, sluggish. For me, I was, I was feeling emotional still on the medications, feeling not so um, enthusiastic about life. I didn't have much energy, I was feeling sluggish. And so as I went on the new medication, I started to feel more like myself again. And I had been on that medication for almost 10 years, I would say about nine and a half years. And I still have my ups and downs with it, with being more hypothyroid or hyperthyroid. It's gonna happen, um, stress in life and things of that nature can affect your thyroid and affect your numbers and affect how you feel and affect um, if, if your thyroid um, goes out of whack and things of that nature. So you wanna keep all of that in mind. But it, this is a really good baseline of information for you to have a, an informed discussion with your doctor so that you can figure out the best plan of action for you, for what works for you. There's a little side note I want to make sure that you know about too, is that I remember when I had a conversation with my doctor about Armour Thyroid, she did mention to me another option, which is to take a, a synthetic T3 hormone in addition to my current um, Lavoxyl or Synthroid at that time. And I just said, no, it's not what I want to do. First off, it's another medication. Second, it's another synthetic medication. And I didn't know how my body would respond to it. And I really just didn't want to take a chance with that because it could actually put me into a more hyper stage. And I didn't want to have to go through that and get off of it. Um, so I just wanted something that would kind of get me even keel where I needed to be. So again, um, there's Synthroid and Lavoxyl, which are from Thyroxine, which is a synthetic thy thyroid hormone. Or there's Armour Thyroid, which is from um, pigs, pig thyroid. Um, so those that have an allergy to pork 
or those that have any kind of religious um, beliefs might not want to take armor thyroid but just know that there's other options available to you as you're out on the market or as you're out talking with your doctor and um, you're looking at your options you're looking at how you feel and um, so hopefully that's some information that you can benefit from and if you actually found that it could benefit a friend of yours or a family member of yours as well please feel free to share the video I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube too, so find me on my YouTube channel at Carol Ward Fitness and make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe below, um, and add any notes. Let's have a conversation. I'm open to talking with you about my journey. This is specifically my journey. Your journey might be different. Just make sure that you um, are, are making informed decisions and having open conversations with your doctor. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great night. Take care. Bye.